Hey guys, uh, welcome to another video. Um, today, I'm finally done with the brick. Um, that's what I'll call this sketchbook, because it is fucking humongous. Um, yeah, uh, so last video, you saw the first half of this, and I like to do that so that my videos aren't like fucking 50 minutes long every time I do a sketch tour, sketchbook tour, because I um, rant a lot. Um, anyways, so we'll start halfway through. I was still um, like in my sonic phase, so there's gonna be like a couple pages of that. <laughs> So bear with me, <laughs> if you don't really like Sonic, you kinda gotta stick it through. Here's some OCs that I have, but I honestly draw them once every 10 fucking years. So it's mostly fan art uh, in here. Uh, anyway, some Sonic. Um, I don't really have much to say about these drawings just because I'm not really in that phase anymore. Um, one thing about me, is that I go through phases. So I'll become super hyper-focused hyper on something and then like after like a month or like a couple months or even like a couple weeks, I'll just be like, hmm, don't really care about this anymore, moving on, you know? So that's kind of what happened here. Um, I got this Gengar one onesie and it's adorable, but it's really hot and <laughs> Um, can't really wear it now. I kind of got it at the worst time because it was going into summer, you know. But, um, yeah. I was trying to figure out how to draw them because I've never really drawn Sonic fan art until, like, the start of this sketchbook or whatever, to which I did a lot of it. Um, but yeah. And I think this is about the end of it there might be a couple more sketches but that's about it uh so spy family yeah um i kind of like read all the manga uh, up to what was current at this point a couple months ago um and then didn't read anymore this this sketch this spread is really messy and just ugly to me oh and <laughs> so is this one um i especially hate this fucking drawing this drawing haunts my fucking dreams. It is so ugly. I'm so sorry, Korone. Um, but yeah, Korone is one of my favorite VTubers and kind of is. Like, I don't think she's ever not been my favorite. Just something about her content is so... Um, I don't know, she's just like really creative and like... She never fails to make me laugh, you know? Her jokes never miss to me. Um, so here's the official halfway point, if you do the page count. I just kind of did it early for whatever reason. Um, um, yeah, got some Vocaloid sketches. I got back into Project Sekai for a little bit. I still play it casually. It's just like, I'm not as obsessed with the characters in the story these days. Um, but yeah, some more Corona drawings, because I was kind of between phases, I didn't really know what to draw, and so she's one of my defaults, along with, like, Vocaloid and stuff. Um, but yeah, I wanted to draw her different outfits, uh, so I did. This one, I remember, took, like, three fucking days, and I got really sick of it. <laughs> um, I wanted to, like, stick a page in. But then, like, all the drawings turned out super shitty, and so I just kind of scribbled it, and I was like, well, what was the point of this? <laughs> um, some more Tsukasa and an Emu. They're copying each other. I think they're really, they're, they have a cute friendship. I really like them together. Um, this is the first and only time I drew Rui. <laughs> um, and this is, like, one of my favorite pages just because it's so it like fills the space so much you know and i always use stickers to like add in 
a little bit of extra oomph, but this time it like really went with like the whole like kid core kind of aesthetic that she has going with the Wonderland Showtime skin. Uh, this is Miku, by the way. <laughs> if you don't play Project Sekai, it's basically a Vocaloid rhythm game, and there's also characters in it. It's kind of a combination of a lot of stuff, but I like it. I don't know. Um, some Sukasa. Uh, I love how this turned out. Like, this is m one of my favorite drawings I've ever done. Um, I wanted to base it off of, like, Harajuku fashion, and, you know, there, it's, ten it tends to be a, a mostly, like, female oriented fashion sense, but I wanted to do, like, him in it, obviously, so this is what I come up with. It's still a little feminine, but, I mean, <laughs> he's a little feminine, so. <laughs> um, and then we have this emu card. It's, I just wanted to copy it in the game. But I don't really love how it turned out. My pink was running out, so, you know. Um, this is Nagisa from uh, Madoka Magica. She's one of my favorites design-wise. Uh, I know this drawing doesn't really do it justice because I don't really like this drawing, but um, her demon form is really cool. I like it a lot, and yeah. So, this is what I'm on now. This is what I've been on for a while. Um, so I'm back into Genshin. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, well, not Genshin. Um, this is when Tugneri uh, leaks were first coming out, and I was like, hmm, I am obsessed. I will now get back into the game because of him. And I did. <laughs> and it actually, the new update launches today, so I haven't played it yet. So I don't have him yet, but I am determined to get him, no matter what happens. Um, so yeah, some more Genshin sketches over here. I tried to do a Yoimiya Mia drawing of her like doing hearts in front of her eye, but I don't really love how it turned out at all. <laughs> so I just covered it with sticky notes. Um, I actually don't know how to say her name. Shinhe? Shinha? I'm not quite sure but I really love her character. At this point, I had dropped the game for a while, so I um, I didn't really meet her in the story yet, but I, I like binged the entire story up to the point that it is right now, and I really like her character. I want to pull for her, but like I don't have any cryo DPSs other than Eula, who is very physical. So, there you go. Um, Diona, I don't care if she's not meta. She is better than Zhongli in my mind. I do not care what anyone says. I hate Zhongli with a passion. Will never pull for him, even if his shield is really good. I will always use Diona. And that's where I stand on that. Um, but yeah, she's adorable. I love her design. I love the color combination. It's just everything about it. It's perfect. She's perfect. <laughs> Um, some more Tugneri, uh, I don't really love how this came out, it's kind of super uggo, I made him like, really skinny, this is the first time in a while that I've used, like, pencil at all, <laughs> so I think I felt, it felt off to like, use pencil, then erase it, then do line art, then do Copic, since I had been so out of practice, but yeah. Uh, this is based off his idol animation, and then this is based off me petting him. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I just love him. I love his ears. Everything. Um, and here's the worst drawing I have ever made in my entire life, so do not look at that. I got sick with COVID, um, and so I had to stay home from work for a while, obviously. Um... I had some time to create art and it did not turn out great because I wasn't feeling great so yeah I like how the face can turn out here but that's about it for those pages um here is when it went full swing I'll say because I had some plans to do a lot more drawings but then I just 
didn't because I felt so sick and so horrible that I just I just gave up I gave up um, I never really came back to it so this is what the page looks like now this um, I got a sticker pack and then this came with it and I was like hmm I'm really a child aren't I fucking buying stickers <laughs> get a scratch the rainbow scratch thing um, but yeah then I drew some Yo Mia um, day two of COVID was definitely way, like, not as bad as day one, I'll say. Um, because day one, I was, like, sweating. I was tingly. I was, like, I, my whole body hurt. But day two, I just kind of felt sick, you know. Um, here is, oh my god, I forgot her name. It starts with an N. No, 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 it doesn't. <laughs> Ame Mia Nazuna. So her last name starts with an N. I was close enough. Close enough. Um, but yeah, she used to be Russia, and, but she got terminated, and now she's her, and I love her design. I am obsessed. Like, oh my god. I did, like, a bunch of drawings of her, but yeah. And then some Paimon doodles. Um... I don't really have much to say i'm not all that passionate about paimon i just kind of think she's cute and i was like hey she's accompanied us this entire journey you know like might as well give her a few drawings right um i hate the layout of this page so much <laughs> like it i was trying to like just casually do some doodles you know but the format it just is ugly to me and I, I like my pages to be, like, formatted, you know, be all special. Like, I put a box around this to make it, you know, look like it fills the page better. Like, I like to fancy up my sketchbook pages, if you couldn't tell. So, like, the art is fine, but I hate this page because of the way everything's positioned. Um, that's a fun fact about me. <laughs> Uh, here's Yo and Mia in, um, like, casual clothing. Um, I really like how this came out. It's supposed to be, like, based off her outfit. So, like, how she has, like, the one sleeve down. I put it down for the overalls. And how she has, like, one shorter sock and then one leg or whatever of armor thing. Um, I was trying to, like, do the same, like, shapes that she had originally in her design basically uh i like this drawing because of how it's like it's expressive you know i like those shoulder up i think it turned out pretty cute um yeah here is when i got the rhinestone stickers <laughs> finally uh i started sticking this shit on almost every page after this so if they annoy you sucks to be you <laughs> uh over here i did some more Wonderland Showtime Miku, because even though I'm not like obsessed with the game anymore, I'm still obsessed with her design. So I put her in like another outfit. Really, um, I like how these turned out, but I hate this base like with a burning passion. I think it's so very ugly. Um, and then here is one of my favorite drawings I've ever done. Um, it's the Cinema Roll X Miku thing. Um, but the only thing is, I posted it on Instagram, and it's one of my least liked posts, like, ever made. Um, so that sucks. <laughs> well, ever made recently. My first post got less, of course. But, you know. Didn't perform very well, basically. Um, here's some more sketches of that idea. If I were to, like, base an outfit around this concept, then this is what I would do. And... There you go. You got the rhinestones everywhere, you know. You're all set. Um, I was trying to do, like, an edgier Miku, but it turned out really ugly. Don't really love this. So, we're moving on. Uh, more Tugnari, because I love him! Um, this is, like, maybe a, a modern-day AU. You know how, like, they always did that on, like, Tumblr, like, the art thing where they're, like, this is this character, but if they were in the real world or whatever. Um, 
I guess is kind of what that is because I am just I am so obsessed with these long ears having piercings like I don't know why it's just it's so very neat to me I love it I love the idea um, this face is kind of ugly <laughs> but yeah I got this is when Boy Mia's banner got her rerun um, so I finally got her thundering pulse I got her bow it took like 140 fucking pulls because weapon banner fucking sucks but I got it all right so there you go um I did some kokomi drawings I hate how the body turned out here so just don't pay attention to that <laughs> I like the face here though um and here's my favorite spread in the entire sketchbook so check it out I've peaked guys I have peaked I will never get better than this <laughs> um basically Yunjin is a character that I didn't have for the longest time and I was always super upset about that but she finally came home she's like my she's like number six on all Genshin characters for me um so I'm really happy that she came home her first copy came home when I got Thundering po Pulse so it was like meant to be but then fun story I got impulsive and I wanted to pull for her constellations um and I accidentally got Yoimiya C4 <laughs> on accident whoops whoops but I got her C6 so so I mean it works out right I did spend a little bit uh but we will not talk about that because that's not important I got what I wanted right right <laughs> uh oh boobs this is this is degenerate stuff um I like boobs <laughs> um I hate how this turned out though I was I know what I was going for like the big old bitties but the fucking arms and hands are so small it pisses me off um anyways moving on moving on um some Madoka art because still one of the best anime of all time and you can fight me on that um did some yoimiya drawings this one is like i you can tell who i use on my team <laughs> i use diona and then um yunjin jingcho and yoimiya and i pretty much use that team all the time now um it's my go-to for just like beating the shit out of bosses and you know obviously yoimiya has to be my I mean, she's always been my favorite in the game, but now that I have her C4, she kind of, I kind of always have to use her or else I'm like wasting her potential. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got these dumbass crayons from like, I, I ate at a restaurant where they had like, here's some crayons kids or whatever. And I just took them home and then I did a Rengoku drawing. Um, surprise, surprise, they aren't very good. <laughs> But, yeah, I, I just wanted to do something different, you know. I got really lazy with this page. Um, as you can tell, how I did this sleeve and then nothing else. And did two basic sketches, and that was it. Um, so, yeah. This is uh, Tower of Fantasy. I don't really love the game, to be honest. It's, like, okay. But I got zero, so you know this one I did at work without a reference and this one I actually used a reference you can tell which one is better <laughs> um but yeah and then I did these drawings while influenced um goodbye uh here's my favorite spread well, well my favorite spread in terms of like it's just like saturated and in your face I like that you know the Yunjin one was had better drawings but um, more Wonderland's Showtime Miku because, again, my favorite fucking Miku skin. Look at her. She's so funky. I love her. Um, some Estelfo drawings because he's very neat and I love him. He's the scrunkly. <laughs> and, oh, more Miku. Um, here I was listening to Sand Planet on repeat, so I did some sketches for that. 
Um, I tried to do the Nurse Sonico, but the face was so ugly, so I had to cover that shit up. Um, this page is also ugly. <laughs> I wasn't performing the best. Uh, some more Tugnery. I can't tell you enough how obsessed I am with him. I'm just obsessed. I'm obsessed. Um, would you look at that? I'm obsessed. <laughs> I'm obsessed. I did some doodle requests and then someone said like, your favorite Genshin headcanon and it was like that the traveler just loves to stick his hands in his tail. Um, but yeah, some more doodles. I got the Kirby game and I, oops, I love when Kirby go big. I love it. This page turned out also very ugly. So I like covered up this one and I redrew that Miku and then I was like, well, <laughs> That's it, that's the whole page. Um, and then the end of the doodle requests. And I started doing this thing where like I'd use like heavier line art for some parts and I really like it. And I think I'm gonna keep doing that. It just kind of sucks that it's developed right at the end of the sketchbook so you don't really get to see more examples of it. But yeah, there you go. Started freaking fifth and ended the eighth, well. Wow, so it took three months, well, like, almost four, because it started on the first, but yeah, um, I'm done with the brick. <laughs> um, thank you for watching. If you want to leave a like, like. If you want to comment something, comment. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. It really likes this page. Um, but yeah, that's about all. Um... See you next sketchbook. <laughs>